Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is TG Tech from Iphone Clinic. Um, here on our table, we are having Bluetooth speaker board. Um, he's having a um, charging port issue, and if you see, if you see it, you can see we've, we've replaced the charging port, and it's giving us, if we plug the charger on it, it is, it is giving us um, voltage, like the output 4 points, 4 points something volt or 4, 5 points something volt on the battery connector. That is the output. It's giving us 4 points. Are you getting me? So, um, but the issue we are having is that if you are charging it, if you insert a charger, instead for it to indicate the red light that is here, for it to indicate the red light that is there and this red light not that it's burnt it's still working so if you if you put your if you put your testimeter on diode mode if you put your testimeter on diode mode if you put it on diode mode okay my testimeter is on diode mode if you put your positive and negative it will, it's going to it's going to glow like this so you can see the charging um, indicator light is still working so definitely because some some lead do get burnt so if it get burnt just test it with your testimeter if it's not gloomy that means it's faulty but in this kind of situation my diodes my light emitting diodes is still okay but the issue now is is not indicating and what is the cause now we have a transistor that is very close to the diodes this is another diode here this this is a diode here this is our transistor and this transistor it the works the works we, we all know that the it's its function is for switching it does the works of switching are you getting me so the the tracks of the plus from the lead diode this is it this is it here this is the tracks from the lead diode that is the positive are you getting me now this transistor will be doing the work of switching so in case of if you if you um, insert your charger, it's going to indicate that it's working. And if the battery is full, if the battery is full, it's going to it's going to the red light is going to go off. Are you getting me? But now in this kind of situation, since if you are having a problem like this and your red light is not indicating, now let's quickly check. Let me insert my charger to, so that you guys will see what I'm talking about. So I will insert my charger now. So for you to see the output that is coming in. So I will insert my charger. My charger is in. Okay, my charger is in now. So let, let us check the output. You can see guys, my charger is in. So let's check the output that is. Let me put my test meter on DC mode. 20 volts. Yeah, my test meter is on 20 volts. Now let me check. Now we are having a vote. Can you can you raise the camera up a little bit so that the testimeter can show? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. So we are having 6.2. It is not stable, but it's above 4.5 points, points, which is okay. So it's okay. You can bring it, you can bring the camera down again. You can bring it down. You can bring it down. Thank you. So it's supplying, but it's not indicating. Now if it's not indicating what we are going to do in this case is since the tracks the plus well, i did a video i think um whether last year i don't know i did a video on how to if your bluetooth speaker or bluetooth your bluetooth panel if the indicator light is not functioning there's another way so i did a video on that but i think i run a, a what is it called i run a jumper wire on it and which which is kind of tedious but this one is very 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 easy for you to fix you don't need any jumper wire what you have to do is this is the transistor that is controlling that light that is doing the work of the switching are you getting me and this is the tracks that is the plus from the led diode that is the light are you getting me the led like the light emitting diode you can see this is it this is the track this is the connection the plus now then we have then we have um what is it called well firstly let's remove the transistor first so that we'll be able to explain better so let me remove the transistor
So we are adding our paste. Remover is done. So we've removed the uh, what is it called? You can see our transistor is being removed. So um so like I told you before, this is the tracks. Are you getting me? The tracks coming from the LED diode. Um the light diode rather, that is light emitting diode. This is this is the tracks here. You can see it enters the ground there. It tends, it tends to have the ground there to the layer and the lead. So now we all know that this is this is our plus from this place. You can see it transports from here to this resistor uh, to this place. That is our five volts that is coming from the charger. So what we are trying to do is now if you connect this one straight, if you use your if you use jumper wire to connect it straight. Number one, the voltage is too high for that LED. Are you getting me? So, because if we connect it, it's going to uh, it's going to glow, but it's going to get burnt because the voltage that is coming from here is five volts. So that that our LED does not need more than five, as in the five volts is too much for it. It's going to get burnt. So we need a resistor that will resist the voltage that is coming from the from this guy here, from this guy here. Are you getting me? So um, now we'll, we'll get a resistor 100 or 102 or 103. So we use it in this in this place instead of us running a wire. Just use it in this place. So I will show you. you see how I'm going to. Let me get. And you can get your resistor from your power bank board, your 40 power bank board. So let me check one if I can get one here. I think I have. Yeah, I've seen one here. We having look at my 40 this is a 40 board this is a power bank so this you can see our resistor resistor 103 let me turn it the, the other way around yeah this is the resistor i'm telling you about resistor 103 we can use that one or we can use the other one are you getting me so let's let me use resistor 103 so bring the remover So the remover is complete. Consider as our resistor 103. Are you getting me? So now, what I'm trying to say is that this resistor now it should be bridging the gap like this. Oh, I've turned it upside down. You can place it anyhow. It does not need for you to it doesn't have a plus or minus so we mount it like this so we apply our heat so that's that so we are done with it so you can use your so the iron to finish the work if you know you are not okay with how it is so you add lead to the other side but for it to connect very well can see I've added lead to it so very okay now so we'll be testing it now so let's do a kind of cleaning on that spot so after we do the cleaning now so uh, what's so, next is for us to is for us to test so after the cleaning hey it's my phone so, 
sorry guys for the noise sorry for the bagar noise so cleaning is done let me zoom out so guys um now we'll be testing it let me connect my charger so we'll be connecting our charger now let's see whether it's indicating you can see it's indicating you can see it's working so i want to talk to you directly so it's indicating like this so it's working perfectly so our indicator is being fixed so guys um if you like this video guys don't forget to like the the video and don't forget to subscribe also so this is tg tech on wife clinic thank you for watching